There's been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we're so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Thanks for being a part of our journey. Hey, you Psych2Goers, happy Mental Health Awareness Month. It's so important to have a month dedicated to spreading awareness of medical conditions that can't be seen. When you think of depression, what do you think of? Being sad? Thoughts related to death? Unanswered calls or texts? These are all very common and noticeable signs of depression, but did you know there are more subtle signs of depression that can fly under the radar? Let's check out seven signs of depression that go unnoticed. Number one, you toggle between emotions depending on your surroundings. When we think of depression, we often think of being sad all the time, but did you know that that isn't always the case? A subtle sign of depression is when an individual flips between sadness and happiness based on the scenario and setting. For example, you might be sad when you're alone, but really happy when you're out with your friends. Having people around or something to keep your mind off the things allows for a bit of reprieve. This can also be something called forced happiness, where the person feels inclined to put on a smile for others. A group of researchers found that potential depression sufferers on Twitter change the way they use language and interact on social media. You may notice them sending you more negative texts or posting darker posts on their social media accounts, but when you hang out with them in person, they're completely happy. This online persona allows them to be and say what they want. Number two, you notice changes in your habits. There's a certain stigma around staying up late at night. When you see posts or texts from a friend in those early hours, you may not think anything of it. But when you notice it more consistently, this could be cause for concern. Other habits that can be disrupted can be eating, bathing, getting dressed, and going to work, school, or other appointments. Ignoring these basic human needs is not caring for yourself. Then it could be a sign that there are more things at play than just being tired or feeling lazy. Number three, you start blaming yourself for things, even if it's not your fault. When you've done something, it's important to take responsibility for it and hold yourself accountable. But do you notice someone apologizing for everything, even for things they didn't do? You say, I spilled juice on my shirt. They say, sorry. You say, it's raining. I wanted to go running. They say, sorry. They didn't make you spill juice on your shirt. They didn't make it rain and purposely ruin the day, but they feel like it's their fault. This can even manifest as remembering or reliving an embarrassing memory and not moving on from it. Even having a feeling of guilt can leave someone feeling depressed. Number four, you're not doing what you used to do. Have you noticed a certain friend has declined a lot of your invitations to hang out lately? Did you notice they're not going anywhere besides work or school? Maybe there's a friend who still shows up at their hobbies like sports practice or music rehearsal, but has lost all enjoyment. These are all signs of potential depression. When you're depressed, activities that used to produce dopamine, the feel-good hormone, don't react the same way, causing you to not feel that same joy. This is another sign that can be paired with toggling mentioned in the first point. The individual may feel like they need to match their previous high spirits and hide their new emotions so they don't bring the mood down. Number five, you have difficulty making decisions. When you ask your significant other to hang out, it's nice to get some input on what they wanna do or even leave the decision up to them. Someone who may have depression may not have any opinions on anything. It can be as small as what to eat for dinner or more difficult like what to major in or deciding your budget. This can mean the individual doesn't feel like they're good or smart enough to make the right decision. Pushing away from making decisions can be a good indicator of possible depression. Number six, you're always on edge. Irritability is a common symptom of mental health conditions, but how can you tell the difference? Let's say you're crushing on someone and your friend knows it. If your friend starts flirting with your crush in front of you, this is a situation where being irritable is a valid and reasonable response. But say you have a roommate, and one shared TV. You wanna watch a movie after work, but when you come home, your roommate is already watching something which causes you to blow up at your roommate. The reaction is out of proportion to the situation. Sure, it's annoying that someone's watching TV, but it's something a simple conversation can solve. You can ask your roommate if they would mind you watching a movie after they've finished. That knee-jerk reaction to get angry can be a sign of other mental health issues like depression. And number seven, you feel physical pain. Have you ever felt pain like muscle ache or headache and you have no idea where it came from? When you feel physical pains regularly, it's always a good idea to consult a medical professional to determine if there are any underlying reasons for them. If nothing is found, it may be a good next step to contact a trusted mental health provider. So did any of these signs surprise you? 
Have you noticed these other signs of depression in yourself or a loved one? Let us know in the comments below. If you or someone you know is concerned that they may be showing signs of depression, please consult a mental health professional. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with others. The references and studies used are listed in the description below. Until next time, take care and see you soon.